Hello, you guys. We're doing a Q&A in the car. It's cold as heck in this car, so I'm gonna try to zoom through this. I just thought it'd be fun to do a Q&A because I haven't done like an update or really like answered questions in months. First question, are you impressed and going to have any children? Yes. Are you planning on moving now that you're saying your current home isn't your forever home? This house has never been our forever home. I mentioned it pretty much every time I talked about us moving into this house. This is definitely a temporary home. We love the land. We love the location. Potentially, we might tear down this house and build a new one, or maybe we'll just rent this out and then buy another house. There's really so many options and it'll just matter when we're ready and have enough money to save up to make a big choice like that. What kind of options are available, where the economy is, all that jazz. But no, this house is definitely not our forever home. I love the last long vlog way to go. I'm glad you guys like that. It took forever to edit just because there was so much footage to sort through, but in the end, it ended up being so worth it and one of my favorite videos I've ever posted, so I'm glad you guys liked it. When's the wedding video coming? You guys, trust me, it is so hard to wait. Fingers crossed, it's like tomorrow, <laughs> but it'll likely be another month. Summer plans, vacations. Um, we're gonna do definitely our annual family vacation that we do. Definitely that. I would like to take the kids somewhere to like a kid's resort or family resort, something like that. And then we're going to Scotland actually, but that's not summer. Did the kids stay at the wedding the whole night? Initially I had planned that they don't stay the whole night um, because you know, once people like really get drinking, it's just not necessary for the kids to be around that. But they had so much fun and pretty much stayed the entire time. Levi stayed up until the very end, I believe. The girls did get sick of wearing their dresses. They did get tired and go back up to the room. If the girls want their own room one day. Would you have to move? By the time that the girls are old enough to, I guess like have more of a say on wanting their own room. We won't be living in this house anyways. And yes, the goal is that they all eventually have their own rooms. <sighs> I keep getting this question and I debated answering it, but I am trying to be more open with you guys and talk to you just like I would talk to a friend in the room. And I feel like I would answer this question, but I keep getting asked if I feel a type of way, um, either jealousy or replacement, or I don't even know. I've seen all the different variations of words that Oscar is still friends with Karen and Qua or that now like Oscar and Addie are friends with Karen and Qua and and truthfully, no, I've never been bothered by that. If anything, I'm happy for them. I think that especially Oscar and Qua have always had like a really amazing friendship. And I personally know from experience, like being able to have two couples where like the girlfriends get along and the boyfriends get along or whatever, like that is such an awesome, hard to find friendship. So the fact that they've all found that within each other, I think is amazing. I also think people kind of forget to piece together the fact that Karen and I stopped being friends long before Oscar and I split up. So it's not something that like all happened at the same time and that friendship ended because we ended like that was a friendship that was an amazing friendship I have so many awesome memories from that I look back at often but that friendship was good for me at that time in my life I just think everything happens for a reason and at the end of the day I'm grateful that they all have each other to be friends and like I said I know how hard it is to find good friendships so hopefully that makes sense and like answers that question would I ever have friends outside of social media all of my friends pretty much are off social media I've done the social media friendships and don't get me wrong like I think that they've been great friendships some of them I still keep in contact with offline <laughs> but for the most part nowadays I like to keep my friendships in real life did the kids ever question why they're not on camera anymore yes you know it's just it's a hard thing to explain to for Levi and Alea also those are the two that want to be on camera the most that want to show you guys things I mean for so long of their life they were able to just jump on whatever and they really enjoyed it like I know there's channels out there and there's people out there who have exploited their children and there is things that I wish that I wouldn't have done and put my kids in like front of the camera in certain situations, but it was like really a positive experience. My kids definitely always felt it was positive. We never had them on camera when they didn't want to be. So although I'm glad we've made the choice for many reasons, um, it's still something that the kids have a hard time grasping and the older ones especially really miss doing. Would you homeschool again if you could? I know co-parenting complicates these choices. This has actually been a recent thing that Oscar and I have talked about. I love the idea of homeschooling. I'm not going to lie for many years. I didn't love that idea. Some of the ho homeschooling kids I knew growing up, always nice, great kids, but like the socialness, you know, like of course that's everybody's worry with homeschooling but I've definitely done a lot of research um, and it's something I've been very interested in and I've kind of talked to Oscar about it Oscar is not I don't want to like say what he feels because that would be like his business to share but let's just say co-parenting does make it difficult because choices like this where we have different opinions 
I obviously can't just like go and do it. So a lot of wedding questions like asking if we feel any different. There is the excitement and that is different, but like I feel like I never expected there to be a daily difference, you know? I do like saying husband. I will I will say. I've never got to say that before. I always get this question what the kids call Preston. They call him Preston. Since we've been married, even a little bit before, they do like to call him stepdad. I think the kids think it's really exciting. Even Addie, they like to talk about her as stepmom, which I think is awesome. Mental health update. Oh my gosh, guys. I have always struggled with mental health. Obviously, most of you probably know this. I've made many, many videos about it. I've been on and off of medications. Tried Lexapro um, like two years ago. I don't really feel like it worked, so I got off of that relatively quickly. I recently did start Zoloft, which I feel like has really helped me. That's definitely made the biggest difference. I'm on a very low dose, you guys. I think I've talked about how I'm very afraid of medicine, and so most days I'm really good, but I still, of course, have my down days. I feel like you paid way too much for your boobs. How do you feel about them? So for a lift and implants, I actually have a pretty average cost for my area. I looked into that before I just paid the cost that I paid. There's a little girl running up to my house. It's the church going, folks. Okay, I had to wait for them to pass because they were going to all the houses around me and I just get embarrassed filming myself. I don't regret how much I paid. I love my boobs. Like, I think that they're so perfect. I feel like they have the naturalness that I wanted, the bounce. That was, that was important. The bounce I wanted, the shit I wanted, the size I wanted. And literally, almost every day, you guys, I look at my boobs and still get excited about them. So, daycare, um, preschool updates. And that is just something that, like, I will probably forever kind of keep to myself just because any update I really give on that kind of like exposes any safety that it would have. There's no way she like doesn't see me sitting in here with my camera. <sighs> okay, I think they finally <laughs> left. Anyways, that's pretty much it. This is getting really long. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy to be back. I have so many videos coming, honeymoon related and all of that. I just am waiting for approval on some and then I need to edit the rest. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.